you ever been dizzy before? Maybe you've gone from a laying down position to a standing position and it was just too fast and the room starts to spin until you can kind of get a hold of things. Maybe you were like me and you played football in high school and you got your bell rung a few too many times and you get up and you're just, you got to get your bearings before you can go back, right? Maybe you have vertigo and you wake up in the middle of the night and the room's just spinning and spinning and spinning until finally it stops. Sometimes this lasts for hours, right? My name is Dr. Zach Shaw and I'm with the Upper Cervical Spine Center and we see dizziness and vertigo a significant amount in our office. These patients who come in who may be experiencing this, they get under care and their vertigo and dizziness starts to go away. So why does this happen? There's many reasons for that. The main reason being the upper cervical spine, or the top two bones in your neck, house what's called the brain stem. The brain stem is the connector between your brain and the rest of your body. It's like our relay center. Sometimes we call it Houston Control for all you space aeronauts out there. Now, the brain stem has 10 out of 12 cranial nerves. And if you've watched previous videos of mine, you'll see that these cranial nerves innervate the face, the eyes, the ears, everything up into our head, and it all comes from the top of the neck. So how does this affect dizziness? Well, first, we have to talk about balance because essentially dizziness or vertigo is a lack of balance. So where does balance come from in our body? Well, balance comes from three things. Our eyes, our ears, and mechanoreceptors which are little cells in the muscle that basically tell us where we are in space and causes certain muscles to contract or relax in order for us to stay balanced, right? So these, all three of these things play a role and all three of them or basically start at the top of the neck. So I want you to think for a second, maybe you've been deep sea fishing before. Most of us have been on a boat, right? And when you're on the boat, you're looking out on the horizon and everything looks flat. You see the horizon, nothing's moving. Maybe you can see some waves, but other than that, everything is still. However, we're bobbing up and down on those waves, right? So the eyes see still, see the still horizon, but the ears are constantly up and down. The fluid in the ears are moving up and down. So you've got eyes are still, ears are moving. The brain doesn't know what to do with this. So it starts to get sick, it starts to get dizzy. All of a sudden you start getting a little dizzy and boom, you're seasick. You end up throwing up off the deck, right? The problem with this is people with dizziness and vertigo aren't on a boat all the time. They may just be standing like I am right now and be dizzy or have vertigo. So why is this happening? Why is it that you can get dizzy but your eyes and your ears are still? Well, it all happens at the nervous system. If there is pressure on the brainstem due to a misalignment at the top of the neck, one of those nerves that are going up into the ear or the eyes could be interfered with. Maybe it's interfering with the optic nerve and it's cutting off some of your vision and so your eyes and ears aren't on the same level and you have dizziness or vertigo. Maybe it's cutting off the nerve, um, nerve input to the vestibular cochlear nerve. Vestibulo means balance, cochlear means hearing. And so if there's pressure on that vestibulo part, we're not going to be able to balance properly and thus we have dizziness or vertigo. Now what about mechanoreceptors? Mechanoreceptors, like I said, are these little parts of the muscle that help us know where we are in space. And now these muscle spindles, okay, which house these mechanoreceptors, what happens is, is they can get damaged. When this bone misaligns, forcing certain muscles to contract and certain muscles to relax, they stay contracted for a long, long period of time, much longer than they should be. And these receptors get damaged. And there's something called the vestibular nucleus. Remember, vestibular means balance, and it's right in the part of the brainstem right there. And if the messages from these receptors to the vestibular nucleus are interfered with, it just can't function properly. We see dizziness and vertigo. Another thing that can happen is when the top bone in your neck misaligns, it forces your head to come out in front of you, okay? So if my head's like this, now I'm stretching everything in here, stretching all the muscles in the neck, and I'm actually going from this type of curve, which is what we want, 
to what we call a military or even a straight neck or a reverse curve. What this means is that when we lose the curve, it causes stress on this area. It causes stress on the arteries, actually, that are going up to the head. And we know that when we put stress on the arteries and when there's a lack of blood flow to the brain, we can get dizziness and vertigo. So now you know exactly how this dizziness and vertigo happens. So how do we correct it? All we do is we find this misalignment at the top of the neck, we remove that misalignment, it takes pressure off your nervous system, and your body functions better. How it functions, I don't know, but what we see in our office is dizziness, vertigo, that type of stuff goes away because it's not a normal function. When your body functions normally, everything chills out, everything's good, everything's balanced, no more vertigo or dizziness. So, if you or a loved one suffer from dizziness, vertigo, Meniere's disease, anything that has to do with the eyes, the ears, the mechanoreceptors in your neck, give our office a call. We'd be happy to do a consult free of charge to see if it's an upper cervical issue that we can help you with. That number is 704-588-5560. If you're not in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, give our office a call anyway. I promise we will find an upper cervical doctor as close to you as possible. If you suffer from dizziness or vertigo, let's get you into the office. I hope you learned something today and you have a great night. Take care.